take is to come up with a, a, a new way to address the subject, you know. Um, I actually did this cake one week before the Charlie Hebdo massacre um, because it's just inevitable that the Islamic State is it's just coming closer to home all the time, you know. It's basically a creation of our foreign policy, you know, in addition to other things. So that was just these anti-freedom, conservative cutthroats are coming you know, we, we sowed the season a lot of way for them to to get to where they are today, in fact, too. But what, what's the theme of the, because uh, you have obviously the ISIS flag and the U.S. flags, what's the idea of, of the of the piece? Uh, I'm trying to be a little provocative, you know, but having the American flag and the ISIS flag side by side, you know, and then like we're welcoming home as, as though they belong to us, it's... Uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty absurd. It's pretty challenging, but it's a challenging subject. It's also a way for me to integrate the uh, extreme violence that they represent, and it's just a way for me to be able to play with it after having watched their recruitment videos and everything. It's just completely that that level of mayhem is, is unsurpassed in my lifetime. So, I'm just uh, what's your, what's your concern about the? Uh, about the way that uh, uh, we're uh, dealing with the subject in our society that's kind of taboo to talk about among uh, liberal oh, people. it's just, it's, I, I'm just appalled at how people are so uh, opposed to uh, offending anyone that you can't discuss these issues without fearing that you're going to make somebody angry or be considered a racist or, or you know, anti-Islam or whatever. But, you know, yeah. we need to have these discussions. But our culture has sort of, like, gotten to a point where um, everybody's just been trained not to not to piss anyone off. With You know, because the result of doing that would be sort of castigation from the community or can, somebody calling you racist or, right. you know, hanging a tag on you that would make you untouchable or whatever. So it's, everybody's afraid to say anything. But we have to talk about these things. People want to, when the subject comes up, everyone wants to blame somebody else for, for doing something that led to it. But you just need to get to the nitty gritty of like bottom line, what is actually occurring on the ground and like talk about it. And everybody needs to take responsibility all the way around. We need to take our responsibility if there's something we did and they really need to take responsibility. Um, you can't go around blaming other people for, you know. Are you from Oakland? I'm from the San Francisco Bay Area, Bay Area. but there, I just moved here to LA. So. Oh, is, is there a strong uh, pro-jihadist, pro-Palestinian uh, sentiment in that area, in the Bay Area? Uh, not a lot. I mean, there's some extreme uh, areas in Berkeley, you know, some, some just sort of like really out there who are supportive, but they're, I don't really know what their motivations are, you know, I think they're just agitators or whatever. I mean, who, who can support, who really has it in their heart to support guys going around cutting people's heads off and throwing you know, I just saw it in the New York Times today. They were taking gay guys and throwing them off of uh, off of buildings. buildings. Yeah. So who, who can who can ever support any of those guys other than you, know, you think other the, extreme final? You think the art world has taken a strong enough making a, a strong enough statement on this topic? Um, I haven't seen any. I haven't seen any art in this whole fair that even remotely addresses Islamic Islamic uh, extremism. Um, it's a uh, it's a difficult difficult subject for people to talk about and especially to do art about. Um, so, how, how about uh, the uh, UAE, which is uh, oppressive of uh, individual rights, human rights? Uh, they lash people for uh, for kissing in public and. And uh, they kill people for adultery. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they do that. But they, but boy, they really know how to make a really beautiful, little, intimate, warm vibe, right? So all that other stuff doesn't matter. You know, we get that's kind of how it runs over there. You know, it's like you got the you got the ruling class, and you got the invisible class that supports that entire culture. So, but you know, those things nobody wants to talk about their, or, or address it. But I thought that was kind of interesting. I was wondering what their I don't, I'm not sure what their whole thing was here, but. Uh, do you Those have any concerns about mind. about their uh, having a pavilion here, a big booth here at a show that's supposed to be uh, about uh, promotion of free speech? And I think anybody should be allowed to to present here. Anybody. I wish the Islamic State had a booth here and they were and they were showing their art. You know, then we could at least I could go up and have a dialogue with them. You know, it's like I think I think it's very democratic. Everybody's represented. If they were, if those guys could. 
imagine if at the art fair you could walk up to some, you know, some fundamentalists you don't agree with and have, have a civilized discussion. That would be really helpful because everything is so pushed. I mean, yeah, there's no way for those guys to hear our opinions. Or, you yeah, know, there's no way to share information other than through something you read in the in the paper. You know, that's just impossible. <laughs> but of course, if they don't like what you say, then they kill you. It's not. I'll fight them. I'll fight them to the death, man. I'm perfectly happy to, to fight them on their own terms with guns. I'll, I'll absolutely do that. So, to protect my freedom and the freedom of the other artists. You know, those Charlie Hebdo guys, man, I would totally fight those guys. Bring it on, man. Oh, <laughs> right on. <laughs>